we'll have a mix of, of stuff on Thursday. And we'll also have uh, a, a couple of guests from Exeter City Futures, uh, Mark Jones and James Gear. The, it, I'll, I have tweeted this through We Not Know. If you, look, if you follow We Not Know, W-E-N-O-T-N-O, uh, you'll get a link to a blog about Exeter City Futures on Wild Show. And the, the news is that they, they have started to use video. So there is a, a founder's blog, uh, which has just been a, bl a blog so far, but they've started to put in little video clips. And so I'm just going to play it now. And then on Thursday, we're going to talk about it. And I'd like to also ask them about how they see video working with social media and flows of, well, I would, I would say data. Um, Glenn Woodcock talks mostly about uh, traffic and, well, I'm going to say rubbish because, oh, by the way, Dennis the Dustcart likes our tweet. So that is that is good. The the um, Twitter sphere is, is working okay. But I just, just uh, so I'm, that's what, sorry, that, yeah, that's why I'm mentioning rubbish. There's flows of rubbish. Let's talk about the environment, but immediately um, pollution comes from certain sources and so rub rubbish is one way of looking at it and traffic is is another one but you can also look at flows of content or news or data that kind of thing so I think that's what we're going to be asking about but they're going to be talking about how they got the video together and what uh, what can be done to promote it so I'm gonna I'm gonna play play it now and we'll we'll play it again on on Thursday. Sorry about this. The the, the computer is computer is stuck. Oh, here it comes. It, essentially, it is becoming very important that we stop building uh, places with lots of houses and nothing else to do and then have all of your shops and restaurants and cafes and education and entertainment somewhere else and you have to get a car to go there. So in a nutshell, that's really the role of um, making a place in, in uh, making a place sustainable because if you have everything you need on your doorstep, then you're more likely to, to stay there to enjoy it rather than have to get in the car to go somewhere else. And so the neighborhood of the future, I think, will be places where, there's, um, where, where people live and work in the same, you know, within walking or cycling distance. Um, and where all of their basic services, their education, their access to, to good food and, and, um, and, and places, nice places to eat and entertainment and sport and exercise and green space will all be built into to one, to, to one, one single area. The big challenge in place making is working out how to achieve that you know, economically because the, the, you know, the, the, our approach to land valuation and house building and the, you know, and the value of property at the moment creates a great deal of pressure on our ability to make those places. It's the, one of the big challenges of, of making cities into sustainable places. Your city centre, well, what does that become? What's it, you know, what's it for? I think there's some really interesting questions to our answer there because um, you know, the internet is having a pretty profound effect on, on the high street and it's going to continue to have a serious effect on the high street. And I think that you know, your city centres over time are going to become um, different, different things. Um, it's, a, it's a threat and an opportunity. For, for cities, if it's if it's taken seriously, embraced, and worked with, I think that the evolution of of, uh, of the surroundings of of X around its city centre can be a really interesting and exciting process. And I think that the, the um, <clears throat> I think that the end point of this next phase of evolution should we should be seeing a. Um oh, that's. So that's just stopped. 
We'll try and get that working better on, on Thursday. Just seems to stop. He clearly hasn't finished exactly there. Uh, Mark Jones and James Gear will be guests on The Wild Show. That's a, a, well, I think they'll be here about quarter to 11, some, uh, something really like that. Uh, beautiful. And, oh, it's, sorry, it's coming again. Uh, fulfilling place to live. Yeah, that was a, a buffering, a buffering issue. We'll try, we'll try and get an MP3 of that, maybe. But it just illustrates a point. Um, video, social media, the interwebby thing, it can all work quite well some of the time. But maybe we need um, we need to do do a bit about how how uh, how things work out. We can discuss around it on on the Today program. Just by the way. Uh, they they were in uh, Seoul, South South Korea, and they were amazed at the the speed of the internet. I think it's um, a a giggy megabyte something, about ten or a hundred times faster than anything you'd get in the UK, and they were amazed at it. But it's actually been going on a long time. So South Korea has been serious about it for five or ten years, something like that. Anyway, that's just an aside. Um, where was I? Uh, 